So in this video, I will tell you everything this visa is all about. I will teach you how to do this application yourself. You don't need an agent to do it. You have, you can do it yourself. Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Chidima and today we'll be talking about moving into an European country free without a job. You all know that before applying for a work visa in any country, you have to have a job. Yes, you have to have a job and then you apply for a visa to get a work permit. But in this country, you don't need a job to apply for this work visa. Not at all. You don't need a job. You're just free. Like, I want to go and look for a job in this country. Then you can apply. That is how it is. And they are not even into your degree. Whether you have degree or not, they are not into it. Just if you have the intention of going to look for a job there, you have to apply. The, all, all you need is just the necessary documents needed for it, which is not difficult at all. This country is not even looking for, they are not even demanding for, will I say, rigorous documents. Where you say degree, where you say IS, where they'll say this one, go and write IS, get uh, band 7, get band 8. They, they're not even they're not even forcing you to learn their language not at all their language is not even learning their language is not even necessary i'm telling you this this country is going into this country is free no job no ielts no rigorous documents even you're not, they're not even into your degree self they are not at all so if you really want to go into a country where you can go look for job just watch this video from beginning to the end so you will get explicit details of what to do and the necessary things to do in order to enter this country everyone desires to go into europe to get a good job they are dream jobs but sometimes it's difficult you when you go into a European country with Schengen visa and you get a job, you know what you will do? You have to come back to your country to apply again for a work visa. If you have a job in Europe, okay, let me say this. Normally, if let me say, let me use for example, if I enter into any EU country with a Schengen visa, and once I get there and I search for a job within that period, I'm supposed to stay there and I get a job. If I want to switch from Schengen, from the visitor's visa to work permit, I have to come back to my country and apply for a work permit. But this country I'm talking about, it is different. When you go in, you don't need to come back to your country. You will remain in that, in that country and then switch to a work permit. And this country is no other country than Portugal. Portugal is a family-friendly country and they have a very good, easy immigration system. Portugal has a free healthcare system. You don't need to pay with your own money, even as an immigrant, no. And they also have free education for your children. Once you are there in with your children, your children go to school free of charge. And it's not just, their free education is not just for citizens or permanent residents. Their free education is for, as long as you are working in Portugal, your children have access to free education. So same thing with free health care system. So in this video, I will tell you everything this visa is all about. I will teach you how to do this application yourself. You don't need an agent to do it. You have, you can do it yourself. I will also state out the required documents you need for this application. Every document, and I'm telling you, these documents are not rigorous to get. They're not difficult to get. Very easy, easy document that you have already. That is just what you need. And I will also state out the proof of fund you need for this application. So stay to the end of this video to get every details you need. All you need to know about this visa. This visa is called Portugal Job Seeker Visa. So this visa is a 120 days visa. It is not a Schengen visa. It is a 120 days visa. This visa, once you get this visa, you go into Portugal and then look for a job. So when you look for a job, then when you get a job, you cannot switch to work permit. 
So this visa is different from Schengen visa. It is not a visitor's visa. This is a job seeker visa. Once you get this visa for 120 days, when you get into Portugal, then you start looking for jobs. So when you get a job, then you will switch, you apply to switch from uh, visitor's visa to work permit. You don't need to go back to your country like Schengen visa, the Schengen visitor's visa. This you don't need to go back. If you have a Schengen visitor's visa, you have to go back to your home country and apply from there to switch to work permit. For this one, you don't need it. You have to remain in Portugal and apply to switch to work permit. You can extend your stay. Okay, let me use myself for example. If I enter there for the 120 days given to me and I was not able to get a job for that 120 days, I can extend my stay to 60 days in order to get a job. So in total, it's six months. So you stay there for six months to get a job. First, you'll be granted 120 days. If you're not able to get a job, then you can extend it to 60 days. But if you get a job, you can then switch to work permits while still in Portugal. There is no need of you going to your home country. There are in-demand jobs in Portugal. I'll be stating out the in-demand jobs in Portugal. They need these people. They need them. Like, they, I don't know how to say it. Portugal are looking for these people, these persons. So, I'll state out the list of these jobs in demand. If you know you are in this sector, please, and I'm saying please, start applying immediately start applying they are looking for you portugal is looking for you portugal is a family friendly country very easy at immigration system free healthcare, free education just like the, we have in the uk in the us and in canada please once you hear you once you hear it's um a job sector that you are in just immediately start applying do not delay do not waste time start applying the first is the healthcare sector which are the doc the doctors, the nurses, you know, anyone in the healthcare sector, they are looking for you. As as usual, as normal, healthcare sector is always in demand. The second is hospitality, such as cook, waiter, waitress. If you are in this sector, please hurry now and go to the website and start applying. They are looking for cooks. They are looking for waiters and waitresses. Please start applying if you are in this sector. The next is engineers. In all departments of the engineering, if you are in any of these departments in engineering, start applying. They need every department in engineering. They need them. So if you are in engineering department, any sector in engineering, please start applying. The next is nannies and nurses. They are looking for nannies. What year we call house maid? What year we call house help? They are looking for them. Like they need them. I don't even know how to say. If you know you've been doing this house, house girl job, house help jobs in Nigeria or in your home country, please apply for this. Please apply to this country. They are looking for you. And you know, nannies, they don't pay them peanuts. They pay them well. So most times, self, they pay nannies more than all these job, professional jobs. People are saying, I'm, I'm working as this. They, sometimes they pay nannies more. And they pay per hour. So you can imagine you're going to do a nanny job there while you are here in your country wasting some persons taking you for granted. Why are, uh, in Portugal, they are looking for you. Like as in, <laughs> please start applying. The next on our list is call center operators. They are looking for call center operators. People like all these people working in MTN, Global, Com, Eltel. They are looking for you. Call center. Even those working for some of some organizations that you you want to get, you want to inquire for some things. You know, you call their call center. Their call centers. Those people working there. Call center operators. If you know you you have. Um, maybe experience a call center representative or whatever, please start applying. 
the next is teachers they are looking for teachers so please if you're a teacher in your home country do some research if you need some license guys getting a license from your home country before you apply so research and then get uh, your license or whatever license that you need i think yes in nigeria you need teachers license or whatever or something like good standing whatever they call it so go get them and then apply the next is it personnel and construction workers like the plumbers the builders welders and what could be it personnel data analysts you know cyber security everywhere every country now is it it so if you're in the it sector you can apply if you're in construction sector you can apply numbers welders builders everything construction they are looking for you the next is agriculture agriculture sector if you're in agriculture sector apply sex departments they are looking for you lawyers they are also looking for you customer service representative they are all looking for these sectors if you are in any of the sectors please start applying these jobs are in demand jobs it's not like just any jobs they are looking for those that have these experiences so if you are in this sector start applying it will not there's no much delay very easy to get in you don't even need a job to get in just as long as you you are willing to go look for a job just apply there are facts you need to know about this visa the first fact is that you can't move in with your dependents immediately Yes, as you're going in, you can't go in with your family because you are going to look for a job. And looking for a job is a rigorous one. So you don't need your family to go into this country with them. What you need to do is go into this country, search for this job, get the job, then switch to work permits. After switching to work permits, then you can then bring in your family. And the second part is, with this visa, you cannot tour Europe because this is not a Schengen visitor's visa. This is a work visa. The main purpose is for you to go search for job. So you're going straight to Portugal. It's not, you, you, don't, you don't have the access to go to other European countries like the Czech Republic, the Paris, uh, Poland, and the rest of it. No. Once you are there, you are there for job seeking and not touring EU countries. The third fact is you can extend this visa. As I stated earlier, you can extend this visa. If the first visa granted to you will be 120 days. So once you don't, you, once you are done with the 120 days and there is no job for you, you cannot extend it to 60 days. But before you extend this visa to 60 days, you have to register with the IEEP or IEFP. So this visa is for six months, 120 days, then 60 days. So at uh, this, which is like six months. So after these six months and you did not get a job, then you have to leave the country. Once you leave the country, you have to apply again. But you cannot apply after one year. So let me say, if you leave the country this month, let me say this is uh, May, you cannot apply again till May or June, till June of next year. That is when you can apply for this kind of visa again and applying again is not a guarantee that you will get this visa because you got it the first time doesn't mean that you get this visa the second time so when you're applying it for the second time apply with all your effort and everything with every document necessary with everything needed apply don't think that oh as i've gotten the visa the first time and when i apply again they'll give it to me no so if you don't do it the right way with all the rights of documents you won't be granted this visa so i will be stating out the documents needed for this visa so you need these documents to apply for this visa the first on the list is the application form i have to go to the website and apply and the website for applying this uh, this visa is through vfs global website yes you uh, you apply this visa through vfs global very easy so you don't need to go to portugal website you just go to vfs global and apply for this visa so the first document document needed is your application form when you go to the vfs global website you download the application form field and then you submit it with the rest of the documents and the next is passport photograph 
you need to submit two passport photographs i think when you go to the website you see the measurements the others dimension whatever they how they call it just go get the right dimension for this application the next is your passport your international passport and it should be valid for at least three months long the next is proof of legal status. These are for those that are not in their home country. Let me use myself for example. I'm from Nigeria. Maybe I'm living in the, um, uh, maybe maybe I'm living in Kenya or Ghana. So I have to submit proof of legal status in that country. That is proof of legal status in Ghana or in Kenya where I am living. But if I'm living in my home country, which is Nigeria, I do not need to submit this. The next is travel insurance, medical travel insurance. So you need to apply for a medical insurance and then submit. The next is criminal record certificate, which is the police report. So you need to get that criminal record certificate and then submit. The next is return ticket. Yes, you need to book to and fro tickets. So your return ticket will be submitted. The next is proof of funds. The proof of fund needed for one applicant is 2,450 euros. You know, you can't go in with your family first. You have to go alone. So the proof of fund needed is 2,450 euros. You convert it into your currency equivalent to be in your account. And another thing is that if you have a guarantor, like let me say, if you have someone living in um, Portugal who is a permanent resident or a citizen that can write a letter stating that they will take care of your accommodation, feeding and everything, that they will be responsible for you. Having a guarantor, then you don't need to show proof of fund. If you have someone that can take responsibility of you while in that country, you don't need proof of fund. But if you don't have, then you need to have 2000 450 euros equivalent in your account statement this visa type is residence job seeking visa that is the type of visa you are applying for residence job seeking visa and the visa fee is 157,507 naira this is already naira so those in other countries just convert this naira to your own um, currency and then that is the visa fee for this visa then there's another fee you need to make which is legalization the fee for legalization is 35,000 naira so let's say total we're having something like 200 and something thousand naira for this visa type so you see guys if you are in this sector that they are looking for job please hurry and apply use your dream job you might be thinking like most especially you know when they say jobs in demand some people will be discouraged because all they will think about is ah it's health health sector is a, a care job care sector uh, health care jobs is it uh my own is um they won't take me but see they are looking for customer service representatives they are looking for call center operators they are looking for teachers they're looking for agriculturists so if you are in this sector please do not take this message for granted please i mean you watch this video just go to vfs global website and start applying i'm sure you have all these documents the only thing maybe is proof of fund and everything you can use one week to arrange yourself and get it and start applying before you know what is happening you're ready in portugal and you will get that job because i am indeed positive that after watching this video there is no going back there is no drawing back you must get the visa and then get the job so guys we've come to the end of this video please do not forget to subscribe like and share if you have any questions please put it down in the comment section i'll be available and ready to answer all your questions thank you guys for watching bye